Hi guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Diecast Garage where today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing two 300SL Mercedes Coupes from a brand called Seekers. Now, I've never checked this brand out before so I'm super super excited but as always before we jump in make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new and also comment any new models you would like to see on the channel. Also, if you would like to purchase any of these models make sure to head down to the description and also click the link to the Facebook page as that way you can purchase any new models and pre-order all of the ones that do come out. But with that being said, let's jump straight into this Seekers 300SL Mercedes Coupe. Now this model does have two variations of it, both coming in the Gulf livery or Gulf colours. As you can see, we will be checking out both of them today. But like I said at the start, I'd never checked this brand out before, so I was super, super excited. Plus, I don't think I've ever unboxed a Mercedes 300SL, especially the W198 Coupe. Like I say, there are two different variations, as you can see, one coming with the orange Gulf coloured stripe down the centre, this one having the Gulf logos on the centre of the front and on the centre of the rear as well, with also Gulf orange on the side skirt, obviously the main bodies also both being the Gulf blue. As you can see, both displayed on the nice standard black base, also with the metal plate to display the name, the brand and also the number. Obviously, they are both individually numbered as well. The other slight little difference between the models is the wheels. As you can see, the one with the stripe does have the orange trim around the wheels and just the chrome center. Whereas, as you can see, the one with the golf decals have just the all chrome center. And again, let me know what you think in the comments. Which one do you prefer? But the first thing I did notice with these models was how good the paint application was. As you can see, the blue is so, so smooth and really, really vibrant. It's almost like a mirror finish. It's super, super well applied and the same goes for the decals as well. The lines for the orange around the side skirt are super, super sharp as well. And again, the body lines overall are really, really smooth and not covered by the paint at all, which you can see closer up. Like I say, the body lines are really, really well done as well. You can also see it has got the only the one mirror for both of the models on the driver side which again is super super cool and you can also see that side vent again really nice depth and detail in that same goes for the wheels you can see all the little cutouts and also the mercedes badge in the center same goes for the rear of the model just below the golf logo you can see the mercedes badge Maybe the Golf logo could be a little bit higher or the Mercedes badge a little bit lower, just so there is a little bit of spacing in between them. The writing below the Mercedes badge is a little bit slanted, but it's not the end of the world as it's super, super intricate and really, really small. And you can also see there is some tiny little writing on the side of the model as well, which unfortunately my camera doesn't really pick up. But overall, you can see on the front of the model as well, the headlights are really, really well done. There's some nice depth there. And same goes for the grille with the badge. Super, super well proportioned and looks super realistic. Same with the plate front and rear. The detail doesn't just end on the exterior either. There is a nice detailed interior with the steering wheel and the dashboard. Unfortunately, because the windows are so small, you can't really see it too well, but at the end of the video, you can see all the shots of the model up close in a diorama sense, and you can get to see that interior a bit closer up. For the overall proportion of the model, not just the body lines and the grille and the lights, etc., the overall proportion is also really, really well done. Comparing it to other Mercedes from other brands and other cars from other brands, you can see a very notable size difference, which obviously would be there in real life obviously this car being quite small but you can also see with the model being small the detail is also incredible like i say the trim on the windows giving that nice old school feel with the nice chrome trim also you can see the window wipers as well and also that interior like i mentioned before like i say overall these models are really really well done and i'm super super impressed by the brand I would definitely recommend these models if you do like your golf cars or you are a fan of your old school Mercedes as these are a very very good offering for the 300SL coupe. 
but let me know your thoughts on these models down below in the comments as it's very much appreciated and i love reading what you guys have to say about these but if there's also any models you would like me to review make sure to also leave them in the comments as well but with that being said i am going to wrap up here guys thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new as it really does help the channel out but with that being said i am going to wrap up here guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time